recently the news of a arrogant and uncultured young man called Lake Adeboye, who a lot of people have lambasted on social media, particularly Christians. And for those who are members of RSCG, who feel that uh, they need to make excuses for this ungodly, um, for this young rude man who is the youngest son of the general overseer of RSCG, Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye. For those who want to make excuses for the utterances, the unscriptural utterances, the insensitive utterances, the mafia kind of um, utterance. You know, he once said that his father is the, what was it? He used a term that is, a title that is used for secret society. He said um, so that we've all heard when we were young, um, Grandmaster. Grandmaster is only used in secret society and in others, secret society orders and, you know, cult. That is where those kind of um, terms are used. He did say this on social media. I know Pastor Ye Adebo is a very busy man. Just like any other person's father or grandfather, um, they can be very busy. He's not going to be always online to see what all his children do on social media. But I'm sure that he knows that he has a randy... It, 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 the, the mouth of his son is very randy. He spits from two sides of his mouth and talks anyhow. Um, that is as a result of what he feels that his father has acquired. He has looked at everything and he feels that, yes, we have it all. We have conquered. He has that, uh, you know, myopic sense of reasoning. And I once said that he has no Christ in him. Uh, the manner at which he speaks, they say out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Anyway, due to the effect of what we are doing, such as, you know, trying to analyze and, of course, for you out there also commenting on this same issue. This has drew the attention of his father. And because it has to do with the church itself, internal church itself, I think um, they had to call him to attention. I don't know if this is just a fake panel. What we've heard is that um, a panel of three was constituted yesterday, April 6th, to look into the comment, to look into what this young man said. What he said, for those who do not know, I'll repeat again. He said, why would you go and preach another sermon after my daddy, that is just what it is, my father, the general overseer, known as Daddy Gio, has just finished speaking and preaching you are not a son you are a goat sir next thanksgiving service just do altar call then thanksgiving that's it now when you look at what this young man is spewing out of his mouth you will already understand what will become of rccg if this young man is made to ascend the throne of his father because now it's like a business enterprise it's like a company it shows what is really going on in church nowadays it's like a business it's like a company he sees rccg as his father's company i don't know where it is written in the scriptures that prayers or the word of god is too much so if your father finished preaching the rest of the pastors are so small they are so low to talk about god that is what he's saying. And he's not stupid. When I say he's not stupid, I'm not saying it in the other side. Of course, we know he's a stupid young man. He's not stupid. He has seen certain things in the church. He has seen the structure. He has seen major things. He's an insider. In fact, he knows more than some pastors know. So he has heard his father talk. Father and mother speak in, the ho in, the, in their home, like, of course, like human beings. Of course, you see them as daddy geo. Of course, that is their title, but they are also human beings. There is a human side to them. So, as a child growing up, he has heard his parents speak. He has heard from his internal, I mean, father, mother, and the rest of his elders in that family. He knows what is going on. That is why he had the audacity. That's why he had that infantry to come out to write this publicly like, who are you people? Are you not just an employee of my father? 
We can kick you out. It's a business. We can get rid of you if you're not functioning, if you're not performing. That is what it is. So, like I said, this young man received backlash for referring to the rest of the clergymen as goats. Now, some other people jumped on this and they talked about it and they said, um, due to this and that, the message that he was trying to pass uh, got lost in between. I don't buy into the. There's no message he's passing. He's talking as a carnal person. He's talking as an irresponsible person and nothing more. He's not passing any message to anybody. I do not understand this. I thought it is supposed to be Christian. It is supposed to be Bible. Where is it written that once the pastor say in Jesus' name, Amen, thank you all, what? Where is it written? What says that the rest of the branch pastors cannot keep talking about God, cannot keep talking about the scriptures, cannot preach and speak to the people even more? What are we talking about here? Well, the report is that Leke was made to stand before a three-man panel on Wednesday, which included his father-in-law, and was asked never to repeat such again after he had vehemently and arrogantly said he would not apologize for the insult made against senior pastors of the church. Of course, his father-in-law is going to tread a little bit slowly, carefully, because, of course, he, he, our daughter is married to Leke, and uh, they just will speak to him as a father, like, come on, don't speak like that again. This is insult. This is not supposed to be. And I'm still sure that this young man is arrogant because he said he's not going to apologize. And he was making this known to everybody, saying, no, I am not going to say sorry. They had to call him, like, come, don't do this again. Um, and don't repeat this. Don't speak to senior pastors this way and all of that. He, 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 he's saying this because he knows that this church belongs to them. It's their family enterprise. Even if the, 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 there have been issues about the original person that God gave the mandate of the church before it was transferred to um, his own father. He knows that this is their property. And this young man is already showing us signs of what will become. He knows that this is our own. Even you, sir, if not that your daughter is married to me. You yourself, we can kick you away. You're just an employee of my father's enterprise. That is what it is. Of my father's business center. That is what it is. This young man is not showing sign that this is a church of God. I think by now, if it was supposed to be like how it's supposed to be in a normal standard Christian or a church where Bible is you no, know, they look at the Bible and they use that. They should not just reprimand him this way. This young man should be in detention. Not in prison, like the kind of detention, like the one of the DSS. But you know how they do in all of this, um, some of these churches should be in detention. Meaning, you will sit at the back of the church. You will not involve yourself in anything that has to do with the church. All of the church will know that you have goofed. So that you can take time to look inwards and repent. Anyway, we know what it is. Um, we cannot fool ourselves, but we will see how things turn out. Um, you know, things change, things change, things change, you know, as time goes on. So we will not just um, write him off and we will not just write off RCCG. Neither are we going to write off his father. We can't do that. We can only speak and point out certain things that he has done. All I've seen and come short. Um, so um, that is just what it is. And the reactions of people out there shows to you that no one is buying into this stupidity anymore. A person from few people who are either aiming to become pastors and make money or people who are just um, blind. Someone said for Kana Christians, the word goat is an insult. But for genuine ones, it means disobedience. Again, don't look at the age of Leke, but the magnitude of the office he occupies. Now, this got a lot of people reacting. That is what I'm talking about. What office does Leke occupy to speak to all of the pastors? that are working and toiling with his father. What office does he occupy that gives him that permission to speak in such a manner that after, and moreover, let us look at it, even if he's using the word good to show or to, to, to imply or to, show, to, to present that disobedience trait or character or characteristics, 
The point is this. How are they goats? Because they preached after his own almighty father, Adeboye, has finished pre preaching. That is where I want us to look at it. Well, it's unfortunate that this young man has shown us that he is not an humble person. He has shown us that he's a proud person. He has shown us that he talks anyhow. He has shown us that material that his father has acquired, being that church is what it is, where people come to put donate tithes and people still flow with some of the doctrines that have issues surrounding it, tithes, false fruit and all of that. Being that his father has acquired all of this, and being that a lot of people are into this because they think they need to get something, and being that he knows that there is so much money, I feel he will definitely not stop. He will keep talking. He will keep talking. He will keep speaking. He's still going to come out with another bombshell of another kind. This man is he, he, someone who I don't think he will repent. He won't. He won't repent because it's something that is inside of him. He's more or less like a reprobate. He is a big time reprobate. His mind is filled with, you know, is an unprincipled person. That is just what I see about him. I don't know what your thoughts are as regards this one. Um, um, let us meet at the comment section. This is so terrible. This is so terrible. I mean, come on, let's come of it. Is if it's your father's company and you want to speak to your father's, all right, it's like a company. But let us say it is like that type of company, like a like an industry, or, or, or and you want to speak to your father's son, uh, fa father's uh, employee this way without respecting them that way and you feel like you should speak that way that's because the your company has a law a mandate that they need to fulfill in a certain way then you can come out to speak in that manner it's different people say oh he's trying to protect his father's business because after his father has finished speaking this and that the rest of this should not but we are talking of church people should understand this before they come to the comment section